Hello! In this tutorial we're going to be covering a gummy in sugar. Um, I've made the gummy, I've made the sugar, and now we're going to bring them both together using the matrix object. So, what we need to do firstly is, um, obviously we've set up our, our, our texture and our, and our sugar, our sugar uh, crystals are here, our main gummy is here, and the next thing we want to do is to add the matrix object, that's just MoGraph matrix, or as I like to just type it in in the help menu, because um, so that's faster for me. Um, so we've got our matrix object there, and once we've got that, we need to just change our mode to object. So that will obviously allow the matrix to target whatever object you want it to. And so now, in our object input field, we're just going to drag in our subdivision surface, which is representing our gummy. And in our viewport here, you can see it's started to apply some, some matrix objects to the gummy itself. Now, we need to tell the matrix object that we don't want just those cube things it generates. We want it to apply our sugar crystals. And so we do that via the Redshift Object tag under Render Tags, Redshift Object. Now, we go in the Redshift Object, um, and obviously my Cinema 4D Maxon, if you're listening, is still glitchy and it just selects whatever it wants out of this menu here when I click on something, when it should default to the thing I click on. So I'm just going to select manually tag because I don't have a choice. Thanks, Maxon. And we're just going to select from this mode menu here, custom objects. So we're going to drag our custom objects into that. But obviously we've selected them. We need to reselect the redshift object tag and we're going to just drag them straight down there. And now we should have now we'll have to reselect the tag again. Um, we've seen we've seen in the viewport here. Obviously, it's a bit low res on this one, but you know the viewport here is showing us some tiny little particles appearing. So we're going to need to pump those um numbers up because those are rookie numbers. So instead of twenty, we're gonna we're gonna times that by well, however many and uh, by a thousand. Boosh! And now we have a gummy covered in sugar. And that, my friends, is how you do it. Um, if you enjoyed this tutorial, if you found value in it, always appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I wish you all the best with your creative journey. Take care and bye-bye. I'll see you in the next one.